We will be performing a high pressure seal change on an intensifier with one inch diameter plungers. This style intensifier is used on some 100, 150 and 200 horsepower pumps. The high pressure seals will need to be serviced when there is water dripping into the collector block, noting which location the leak detector is showing. Confirm the leak by removing the drip tube from the suspected intensifier end location that is leaking. To perform this repair, the following components are required. To begin, note the height of the actuating pins and the light on the proximity sensor on top of the intensifier. Verify the proximity switch is illuminated on the intensifier for the side that needs the service. This is to inspect the plunger for wear or pits. If the proximity switch is lit on the opposite side, manually shifting the directional control valve is required. Do this before any components are removed. Service is ready to begin once you have locked out the machine and the water source, if not equipped with water inlet solenoids, is shut off. Manually shift the pilot portion of the directional control valve to release trapped hydraulic energy from the intensifier back to the reservoir. Disconnect the inlet water connections from the inlet collar on the check tube using the appropriate open end wrenches. Disconnect the ultra high pressure water lines from the high pressure poppet housing. Disconnect the drain tube from the weep connection on the high pressure end cap. If servicing the poppets are necessary, loosen the high pressure poppet body and the inlet water fitting. Loosen each hex nut securing the high pressure end cap one quarter turn at a time, alternating locations until tension is relieved on the end cap. Remove the hex nuts from the tie rods and place on the work surface. Place a rag below the hydraulic end cap as there may be a small amount of hydraulic fluid present when the high pressure cylinder is removed. Remove the high pressure end cap and the high pressure cylinder and take to a clean work surface. Remove the high pressure end cap and check tube from the cylinder. This can be done with either a soft faced mallet, slowly working the end cap off the cylinder or with a fixture. Place the high pressure cylinder on the cap tool. Ensure the cylinder is centered on the cap tool so the inside diameter of the cylinder is not blocked. Insert the mandrel tool into the tapered end of the high pressure cylinder and strike the end of the mandrel with a soft faced mallet to remove the high pressure seal and backup hoop. The spacer tube pushes the high pressure seal and backup hoop out of the bottom of the cylinder. Turn the high pressure cylinder over and use the mandrel tool to push the spacer tube which pushes the second high pressure seal and backup hoop to the bottom of the cylinder. When it reaches the bottom, strike the end of the mandrel with a soft faced mallet to remove the second high pressure seal and backup hoop. Clean the high pressure cylinder parts and inspect for damage. Clean both ends of the high pressure cylinder with a scotch bright pad and solvent. Polish the portion of the bore where the high pressure seals reside, approximately thumbnail deep. Inspect the area for chips, cracks, or scratches. Inspect the face of the check tube and the face of the high pressure cylinder where they contact each other for wear. Inspect the plunger for wear. Use your fingernail to detect fine scratches or buildup on the plunger. If scratches or material buildup are detected, use 9 micron blue lapping film to remove any roughness and debris.
Remove the cone mini disc from the intensifier using air pressure or a pick as necessary. The inside diameter of the cone side of the mini disc should appear evenly polished and be smooth to the touch. An uneven polished area indicates worn centering rings. The corner between the face of the cone and the inside diameter should be square and sharp. Use your fingernail along the edge. If you catch your fingernail on this edge, it is an indication of a burr, crack, or chip. Replace if damage is found. The mini disc should be replaced approximately every second seal change. If using the same mini disc, thoroughly clean the surfaces and through bores with solvent, verifying there is no debris left in the through bores. Slide the tapered centering ring away from the mother disc on the intensifier. The tapered centering rings are a slip fit and you will notice drag when they are installed on the plunger. If no drag is detected, replace the tapered centering ring. Slide the tapered centering ring onto the plunger until it contacts the mother disc. Slide the coned mini disc onto the plunger until it captures the tapered centering ring. Install a new backup hoop and high pressure seal onto the plunger, noting the orientation of the high pressure seal and the backup hoop taper. Ensure the backup hoop is seated on the high pressure seal. Stand the high pressure cylinder upright with the flat end facing up. Place the insertion sleeve on top of the cylinder, centering it over the bore. The insertion sleeve has an inward taper to compress the seal as it is pressed through. Install the cap tool over the sleeve and over the outside diameter of the high pressure cylinder. The cap tool will rotate freely on the insertion sleeve and cylinder if properly seated. Do not force or hammer the cap tool onto the cylinder. Damage to the tooling as well as the high pressure cylinder will occur. Install the high pressure seal onto the mandrel tool, o-ring towards the cylinder. Use the mandrel to press the high pressure seal through the insertion sleeve and into the end of the high pressure cylinder. When the mandrel tool bottoms out, the seal is in the proper position. Remove the insertion sleeve from the cap tool and verify the seal is seated within the cylinder bore. The inside of the backup hoop is tapered and the taper of the backup hoop mates with the tapered end of the high pressure seal. Gently push the backup hoop in with your thumbs to start the outside diameter of the hoop into the inside diameter of the cylinder. Place the mandrel tool into the cap tool with the larger diameter towards the cylinder. Strike with a soft faced mallet to seat the backup hoop into the cylinder. Inspect the spacer tube for damage on the ends and OD. Replace if damaged. Turn the high pressure cylinder over and slide the spacer tube into the cylinder. Install the cylinder support tool onto the tie rods. Slide the high pressure cylinder over the plunger, tapered end of the cylinder towards the intensifier. The high pressure seal and backup hoop on the plunger will be seated into the end of the high pressure cylinder. Some force is necessary to load the cylinder over the high pressure seal assembly. Lubricate the cleaned check tube snout with high pressure grease and carefully push the assembled check tube into the static seal end of the cylinder. Align the high pressure end cap 
so the weep connections will face down toward the weep line. Slide the high pressure end cap onto the tie rods over the check tube and the high pressure cylinder. Rotate the check tube to align the low pressure water inlet connection and the ultra high pressure outlet connection with the fixed tubing using the flats of the check tube as a guide. Ensure that the water inlet connection is pointing straight down. This aligns both connections. Lubricate the tie rod threads with general purpose grease. Notice that the hex nuts have markings on one side. These markings must face outward when the hex nuts are installed. Thread the hex nuts onto the tie rods and lightly tighten by hand. Proper alignment between the hydraulic end cap and the high pressure end cap will extend the life of the seals. Check the alignment of the hydraulic end cap and the high pressure end cap using the end cap alignment tool. The bar has a quarter inch step for square end caps. Place the alignment bar on the hydraulic end cap and the high pressure end cap. The bar should sit flat. Tap each end of the bar to see if there is movement or use a flashlight behind the bar to detect a gap. If there is movement, tighten and loosen opposite pairs of the hex nuts until proper alignment is achieved. Check the top and one side of the intensifier. Tighten the hex nuts in 50 pound increments using a modified X pattern to apply pressure evenly. Initially torque the hex nuts to 50 foot pounds, then torque the hex nuts in increments of 50 foot pounds until 275 foot pounds is reached. Repeat the last torque sequence to achieve 275 foot-pounds on all nuts. Connect the low pressure water connection to the intensifier using high pressure anti-seize on the threads of the fitting. Tighten using the appropriate open end wrenches. Connect the ultra high pressure tubing from the intensifier poppet housing to the high pressure water manifold. Tighten using two wrenches. Remove the orifice from the tool and flush the high pressure water system. For more detail on the flushing process, reference the Flushing the High Pressure Water System video at JetEdgeWaterJets.com. Inspect the assembly and verify that all parts are accounted for and all connections are properly tightened. Remove the locks and turn back on your water source. With the machine in local control and the hydraulic pressure turned all the way down, push the motor on button. Turn the water tool on and allow water to flow. Manually shift the directional control valve six times to purge the air from the high pressure water circuit. Push the intensifier on button and let the unit cycle with the tool on for three to four minutes while checking for leaks. Turn the water tool off to put the machine into a static condition. Turn the pressure up to the maximum running pressure while checking for leaks. When there are no leaks, turn the tool on and verify the working pressure is correct. The machine is now ready to be put back into service.